Bond Cafe I, on I, Main and 33rd. <laughs> Aaron's suggestion. Do much. Say hi. Just say hi. 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 So uh, there's different like combo deals here. So I got a, a faux, a spring roll, and a pop for $8.25 in tax. So the pop is what? Pop. And then uh, the spring roll is. It's like a Chinese spring roll, <laughs> not a Vietnamese spring roll. Yeah, I'm slightly disappointed. Yeah. It's not a... But they have like it's like banh mi and stuff too. So. Oh, this is the fried variety. Right? Yeah. Well, I like the one with like the crumbly too. skin. It's just the the, the, the texture. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. Yeah. So this uh, is uh, so medium thirteen, I, mean, I think. And me last week. it's a uh, rare beef. Huh? You're at 499, I didn't know there. And, and tried. Yeah, I I and everybody. the noodle. I, I so, uh, yeah, that's part of the combo deal. So, this is the medium. I sent the message out. I said I can't come. That's yeah, I didn't get it. Oh. This is a large. That's what, that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> this is bone cut. More, more meat than you can handle. <laughs> more meat than oh, you man, can handle. Oh, man, we need to stop this now. <laughs> No, once it starts, it doesn't stop. That's what she said. <laughs> this is combo special oh, with a Chinese-looking Vietnamese roll. These are the <laughs> sliced grilled pork? pork sandwiches. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Actually, that, that does look good. Nice crispy fat right there. Well, I wrote a blog post this week about how um, how everybody perceives Luongo as being overpaid or not good enough or not being able to win the big game. Whereas the stats speak for themselves. I mean, he's one of the statistically the best, one of the top three, if not the best goaltender statistically in the league. And if you take into like, I don't know, playoff wins, he has 27 playoff wins in the last three years, whereas the highest paid goal in the league is Henrik Lundqvist, who has something like four or five, you know. Um, and everybody says he's overpaid. He's not overpaid. He makes $5.3 million over this 12 year span. It doesn't matter how much your annual salary is. Nobody cares. They're being paid by billionaires. It doesn't matter. All that matters is how much the cap hit is against the, the team's salary cap. And Luongo's not even the highest paid player on this team. So there's no way we can call him like an overpaid bully when he makes the seventh most amount of money in the league. And he has some of the best stats amongst all bullies. Will Schneider still be here at the end of the season? <laughs> uh, I think if Schneider plays till the end of, I think if he's not traded before the deadline, then we might try to re-sign him and try to uh, trade him again, like next year. But I think he'll be traded by the end of the year because Eddie Lack is perfectly capable of. What's going on here? <laughs> Eddie Lack is perfectly capable of backing up Luongo, and um, I think Schneider's trade value is highest right now. I mean, what if he? What if he's terrible next year? What if he's terrible later on this year? I mean, we're not going to be able to get the same return. Even if the backup goalie is named after an inexpensive table? From <laughs> he, yes, idea. Lack is Swedish for inexpensive small table well, that you have to put together yourself. <laughs> do you think, you know, they put Schneider in, um, do you think that was because strategically they wanted to win, or is it to shut the fans up and say, like, look, we finally did it, now get our backs? No. <laughs> he was going to start anyway, I think. Because mm -hmm. it's a back-to-back. -back. Yeah, that's what I think said. if they put Luongo in, then mm -hmm. that would have sent a message. But since they played Schneider, it was a back-to-back. -back. They were going to play him anyway. Mm -hmm. it was no <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's there are a lot basic of business. People, there's a lot of people. They, they actually... Um, in but terms law of like, is really for criminals, you know, like... Yeah, yeah so it's if not you're criminal. Not decent the people law, don't need a law, right? They just do the right thing. It, then you're not a criminal, and there's nothing wrong with what, but, what they but do. But if you're saying do the right thing, but if it's not against the law, then he's not doing anything wrong, right? It's just he's just doing something that uh, uh, that conflicts with your sensibilities and mm -hmm. your um, your moral. Uh, okay, so if, if I was helping you in your business or whatever, right, and I even invite you into my business, that this, which is what happened, and, and then I have a new idea. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna steal it from me? I mean, it, but this becomes did not patent it. It is not yours. That's this is the exact same thing with Zuckerberg and the Winkle yeah. and the Winklevoss exactly. twins. The Winklevoss twins are like I'm gonna make a Facebook. Well, I'm gonna make a college get together Harvard connection. Harvard connection. That's what it's called. And then Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg went and actually made, made it. Made it. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, it, if you didn't make that, it first, or if you didn't have it, it's not your you're idea. You're asking me personally? Yeah. And me personally? Like, well, I don't know. Like, uh, I'd have to see what, what happens if the, t if the situation came up. But I can tell you for a fact that, like, when, it, when you get to the point where, like, you have a huge company and you have shareholders, and your shareholders, who actually have the legal right to sue you as the CEO, if they don't think that you're doing the best you can to make them money, They'll sue your ass. Oh, and they so won't sue you. They just no. They will. No, they will sue you. It happens they can. all the time. It happens all the time. Oh, there, there's so, CEOs so, are kicked there's, out. There's, there's so many times where CEOs are just like this and this because they said um, you, you didn't just get uh, you didn't um, outsource your labor from China for cheap. Ah. Oh, you're, you're out of here, right? Well, guess what? <laughs> you can. Um, and so because the thing is, like, all they care about is money, and so. Like that. That's. Just, I mean, that's for them. Like me personally, I don't know. I've never been uh, presented with that. Um, with that particular opportunity. Yeah. Basically, what their job is is to make the most money possible. And if you that to keep the shareholders interested in mind. Yeah. I mean, if you don't break the, <clears throat> if you're not breaking the law, everything is fair game. That's that's the that's basically what it is. It might be a douchey thing to do to, yeah. to take to to take somebody's unpatented idea, but it is not against the law. It's and if you're not going to do it, the next guy will. And then, then somebody else will. I mean, it's it might be against morals, but it's not against business. It's not against the law either. Yeah, it's not against the law. So I don't see anything wrong. I, I think no, it's, I, I think it really is just like an issue of like. Um, of values. Like if you trust yeah. somebody and help him or her, and then but, I mean, they do this, I don't well, think then, it's right. But then there should be a, a full disclosure between the two people. Like, look, I, I just want to make clear, like, look, I am trusting you with my company. Please don't, you know, take my ideas. And if that be the case, if you really need to have that conversation, then get them to sign a, a sign some sign an NDA or whatever. Yeah, sign an NDA. Or like a yeah, or get like a patent on. Basically, it. there are plenty sure. of ways that 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 kind of theft can be avoided. And if somebody didn't take the precautions to do so, like with patents or with with contracts or anything like that, then it is on them. It is their fault that it happened. No, yeah, but they can't they can't complain about that if they didn't if they didn't take the responsibility to, yeah. to prevent it from happening. It's hard to feel sorry for a guy who's the CEO of the world's most profitable business yeah. company out there. Oh, in case you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> um, we're talking about uh, uh, Steve Jobs' biography saying that um, he wanted to take down Android for quote unquote stealing some ideas. Yeah, he, he said he was willing to go iOS. thermonuclear yeah. on them. He was prepared to empty Apple's banks just to just shut Android down. And, uh, just shows how I'm bad not an Android is. user, but I, I didn't think that Android did anything particularly wrong. Just because they're they're only modeling their features after things that iOS did. And I mean, if that was the case, we'd only have one OS ever for anything, right? Yep.